Hi guys, welcome back to Action Young. Today I'm going to share about the six fundamental human needs that you can use to guide your life, right? Okay, so where do I learn this? I learned this from Tony Robbins, a renowned personal development coach and writer. And yes, if you really like his uh, ideas, you can just go and check his books. He has written a lot about it. However, today we're just going to talk about the six fundamental needs, human needs, to guide your life. Okay, let's start with the first one, which is certainty, right? That's why the getting a job is the most attractive thing uh, for most of people, right? Most people think that getting a job is most attractive. Why? Because one, you get the stability of the job itself. Two, you have the stability of the income, right? The income monthly, every month, your employer will uh, pay you if you get a job. So that's the certainty. Another type of certainty is uh, getting a house on your head, right? Because that's uh, create a certainty that yes, you have a house to go back in the evening to rest, to sleep, right? And another certainty would be to put food on the table, right? Some people, they don't even have this certainty. So this is a very fundamental need, putting food on the table so that you can eat, you can nourish yourself, right? Uh, do comment below. An another example of certainty, right? Uh, certainty that you have clothes to wear, certainty that uh, health is a certainty, right? So, yeah, so these are the things that are certain. Now, that's one of the need. Now, let's go to the second need. So, the second need is uh, the antithesis, antithesis, which is the antonym of certainty, uncertainty, right? So it's very ironic that uh, other than certainty, we human beings, we also need uncertainty. So what, what do I explain? What, what, what do you mean by uncertainty? Okay? Uncertainty is something that is new, something that is novel, special, uh, something different, right? That's why uh, people like to travel. There are some people who like to travel. Uh, they find uncertainty in that, right? A certain, uh, develop, a certain uncertainty in traveling, something new to discover. Or maybe uh, why people like to learn something new because of the uncertainty of learning something new, right? Uh, why people like to go to different shopping malls, for example, in Singapore, right? People like to go to different shopping malls because of the uncertainty of it. Uh, why some people they like to make a lot of new friends because of uh, one of it is uncertainty, right? Uh, yeah, think about things that are uncertain that keeps you excited, right? Like why you want to watch a new movie, right? Because you are uncertain of it. Why do you want to try something new food, right? A new food, new cuisine, yeah. Because it's uncertain. It keeps life exciting, right? Okay, that's two. Now we go to the third fundamental need, which is the need for significance. So, what is significance? Uh, say you have a job, right? But then uh, you want, let's say you are in a salesperson business. I, I was for the past two years. So salesperson, what do they need, right? Other than uh, money, you know, uh, commissions and stuff like that. They need significance, right? You want to be the top sale, right? The, the best uh, that the company has. Or you want to be the, the top manager, right? The top manager in your company. Or the top uh, CEO. Or you can be the top of anything, right? If you are uh, studying, you are in your university, you are in your high school, you want to be the top student, right? Because you want significance. You want people to know about you. You want people to, to revere you, to, to, to look up to you in, a, in certain ways, right? Uh, in positive ways, of course. That's why uh, significance. It can also go to the negative proportion. That's why uh, a lot of crime happens because uh, some people, they can't find significance in daily life. They do crime because crime gives them a significance. So let's not go into the negative part of life, but let's go to more positive ways. Uh, what are the other significance that you think you can find uh, in this daily life? Uh, please drop down in the comment below. Okay, if you're liking all this, uh, we're already in the third, third fundamental need. So please like and subscribe in our YouTube channel and see if you find value in this, if you find value in this knowledge that I'm sharing with you right now through the camera, right? Please like and subscribe because I not only want to inspire you uh, that is watching this video, I just want to inspire millions and millions of more people because 
basically I want people to change, to be improved, to be the best version of themselves. So that's why I'm shooting this video with you in YouTube, right? <laughs> okay, third significance, right? Now we go to the fourth significance. What's the fourth significance? Connection, right? We human beings, we want connection. We need connection. It's not a want, sorry. It's a need, right? When you are born uh, from your mom, you want a connection with your mother, correct? Your connection with your father, with your parents, with your siblings, with your friends, with your, uh, you know, uh, bigger family. You want some connection. We, we can't live alone in this world, honestly. Like, how can you live alone when the world has a lot of human beings around? And we humans, we crave this connection. We crave uh, creating relationships, friendships, um, making new friends, networking, you know. It's, it's not all about economics. It's more about love, sharing love, sharing gratitude, sharing kindness, um, things like that. So we, we, we need connection. We need that human touch because we can't live alone in this world. You know, you need the relationships, you need, uh, you need friendships, you need to hang out, you know, you need to talk, you need to share. Sometimes you're going through hardship, sometimes you're struggling, sometimes you're going through happiness. Happiness also, you want to share your happiness, right, with somebody else. It's not like you, you win something, you get number one in something, and then you, you know, only know it yourself. It, it's very funny, right? You, you want everyone to know, you know? You want your family to you know. You want your mom, your dad. Uh, you, you, you get a high result in school, or maybe you get the best sales, top sales in, uh, in your workplace. You want co that connection, you know? That, that the feeling of rapport, of love, that, um, that connection, basically, okay? So do comment, comment below. Um, what other, you know, other, I, I want you to be very, very active in the comments because I want you to, to think about like things that can change your life, like guide your life. So these are the, I'm, I'm giving you pointers, but the, the, each person's, each person's experience in life is totally different. So you, maybe you can share, you know, in the comments, like what are the connections that, that really change your life? Right. What are the connections that really change your life? Okay, for now we go to the last two. So the last two, if once the four uh, significance, certainty, uncertainty, significance, and connection is met, right? Once these four needs are met, then the last two comes, comes later. But it's also equally as important, if not more important. Okay, the fifth need is growth, right? growth the feeling that you are changing you are improving because the the, the thing about the, this world that we live in is that it's constantly changing the only thing that doesn't change is change right that's what Gautama buddha say the only thing that doesn't change is change so if you are not changing you are stagnant right if you are uh, somewhere in your job that you feel that you are not improving you are not um you are not improving in either economic ways or maybe in terms of significance, position, right? Or in terms of uh, learning new things, right? Then you feel stagnant. You feel that you, you are not growing. So that's why this fifth need is very important for us as human beings. We want to feel that we grow. We want to feel that um, we are improving, right? We are improving can be uh, in many ways, right? Economics can be in uh, in terms of significance, right, positioning, we, we, we want to be feeling like growing. Think about uh, growing as a better father, right, as a better wife. If you have a family, you have kids, right, you want to be better than what you were before, right. You want to be a better father, bet, better communicator of love, better communicator of gratitude, better communicator to yourself, right, because some people I know because sometimes I went into this as well like we think that we always have to give to others you know but the thing is the one that really needs help is yourself first so once yourself is contented yourself is loved which uh, feeling of gratitude then you can give to others right so yeah things like this we need to grow you know grow in terms of like personal development or you can say in terms of economics or you can say in terms of uh, ideas uh, in terms of 
uh, friends that we meet, there are many ways to describe growth. So do comment below. What are the ways that you think that can empower you to grow, right, in, in this world that we live in? Okay, now the last one, and the last one is just as important as the fifth one. Contribution. So this is why I'm doing this YouTube. Uh, as you know, I've been in Singapore for the last seven, coming to eight years now. And I feel that YouTube is a medium for me to contribute to you guys, right? To share what I have been through. You know, I know I, know I have the feeling, that deep, deep feeling of like fear, uncertainty and doubt when I first came to Singapore, when I first stepped down on this, uh, on this foreign country, because I'm a Malaysian. So I understand, I, I understand like what some of you feel sometimes because I was there, you know, I was there and I, I, I do feel sometimes doubt. I do feel uh, sad because I'm new. I, I have very less connections in Singapore, obviously, because I'm Malaysian and I was once there. So this is my contribution to you, like this YouTube video, uh, maybe more videos to come. And why do I share? You know, sometimes I, you see me share about why I buy property, I buy stocks, I buy uh, whatever, lah, right? You see in this YouTube, right? I share about uh, traveling. It's more on contribution, right? I, I'm not earning so much from this, honestly, honestly. So what I'm doing is, this is my way of contributing some value that I think that I can provide in this world. So this is my contribution to you. So think about uh, what contribution can you give to the world. Um, think about like, you know, those rich people like Warren Buffet, Bill Gates. Why do they want to open a foundation? They are very rich, right? They are millionaires, billionaires. But think about why do they do that? Right? Think about like in their perspective. It's contribution, right? It's a fundamental need. We humans, we need to contribute. We need to feel that we are one in this society of ours, in this earth of ours, which is just one earth. There are not millions of earth, just one earth. And we are one species, right? Human beings. We want to contribute, right? So think about ways that you can contribute to the world. You know, it's for yourself. It's not for me, you know. It's for yourself to feel good about yourself. So these are the six fundamental needs, human needs, that can guide you, you know. Find, find ways to use this, this information, to guide yourself on how you want to live this life. Right? You can contribute through charity, you can contribute to church. I know my brother does, <laughs> and I did before when I was in high school. I, I, I go to church and I contribute myself, like my time, because obviously I don't have much money that, but back then. I was just uh, under my father, mother, you know, uh, money, you know, giving me money to, to survive in high school. So I provided my time, my effort, right? Um, yeah, stuff like that. Like you think about what you can contribute in this world. Maybe you can do a YouTube video like me. You can share about your experiences. So yeah, so these are the six fundamental needs. Hope you guys like this video. Um, do, do like and share this video. If you think that there are someone lost in your life, someone that really needs help, really needs like a sort of like a guiding book, right? Yeah, think about me as like a elder brother or maybe someone who, who learned about life uh, slightly more than, than you, right? And just, just think about this information and use it as a guiding, you know, as a way to guide yourself like, what do you want to do in life? What is life, you know? These questions are, yes, very stressful, but ultimately we all have to answer them, right? Because life is meaningless. Honestly, life is meaningless. We human beings, we are the ones that attach meaning to life. So thank you guys. Do click like, subscribe, and thank you. Thanks for watching this video. Much love to you guys. Take care.